Hi, I'm Brian Golden, author of Dare to Live Without Limits. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. This succinct yet powerful phrase in the Declaration of Independence recognizes our basic human rights. Our founders understood that although freedom is not granted to us by any person or group, it can be taken away by the enemies of freedom. Too many Americans do not fully appreciate all the freedoms they have. Freedom is one of those elements of life that is taken for granted until it is gone. You don't think about the abundance of air until you don't have enough of it. Food is not truly savored unless you are starving. Water is taken for granted until you are dying of thirst. Liberty is no different. Every freedom you have is a target of the enemies of freedom. If you have any doubt, look at how many freedoms have already been lost in America. Freedom is the foundation of America's greatness. Freedom is opportunity. Freedom has created the highest standard of living in the world. Freedom is responsible for amazing discoveries, inventions, and innovations. Freedom unleashes the human spirit to create, build, and improve. In spite of the magnificent nature of freedom, the enemies of freedom are intent on its demise. This has been the case since the dawn of mankind. There have always been, and will always be, those who despise freedom and who are determined to take it from you. It's difficult for decent, freedom-loving people to comprehend the existence of these evil individuals whose objective is the suppression of your freedom. These malicious people are the arch enemies of all that is good in our world. The misery they inflict historically evident throughout history. The enemies of freedom consider themselves superior to others and above the law. In their view, they are always exempt from the draconian restrictions they seek for everyone else. The enemies of freedom depend on apathetic and compliant victims. I didn't think that could happen here is the oft-repeated mantra of those who sat idly by while the enemies of freedom proceeded on their despicable quest unimpeded. The march of oppression starts with the suppression of small freedoms under the pretext that the actions are being taken for the welfare of the people. This process is designed to condition you to accept the loss of freedom as necessary for your well-being. This devious strategy is repeated over and over as one freedom after another vanishes until every aspect of your life is controlled. Don't be deceived by the enemies of freedom. The enemies of freedom hide behind a veil of benevolence. They create an illusion of working on your behalf while they are simultaneously striving to subjugate you. They take advantage of your trust and exploit your disbelief that someone could actually be so malicious. When their motives are questioned, they are vehement denials are convincing enough to earn an acting award for their persuasive public performance. If you want to live in freedom, then you must protect and defend it. If you sit on the sidelines, the enemies of freedom will take over and destroy your freedom. And yes, it could and is happening here. Let your voice be heard. Speak up and speak out against those who are determined to take your freedom. Talk to your friends and neighbors to get them involved. On the local, state, and federal levels, let your elected public servants know how you feel. Support people who act to protect your freedom and rally against those who do not. Freedom is your right. No one has the right to take it from you. History has proven that the enemies of freedom will prevail unless you stop them. Thanks for watching.